Hi everyone. So I've been watching all these YouTube videos of people hauling Dollar Tree items, Dollar Store items, what have you. And I got like completely addicted to it. Like I'm just going to be honest with you, I have a problem. But I don't care. Um, I always make videos and like do like a daily journal and updates in my family because uh, we have a pretty crazy busy life and uh, I share it with my Facebook friends but I've never actually shared anything on YouTube. I did make an account and I think I made a channel but I never put anything on it because I'm not that technical. <laughs> Short don't take a genius but uh, anyways uh, yeah, so I've been watching all these videos and getting inspired to buy things. Um, yeah, so I've been, been spending quite a bit of money at the Dollar Tree and Goodwill and places like that. Um, yeah. I, I'm not going to post this because I just feel absolutely ridiculous making this video. Anyways, I'm going to, this is going to be just a practice one for me. So, I went to the Dollar Tree and I found these. I've never tried them before. I'm going to try them. There's the little gems on them. See that? So, hopefully it works out. I have really short nails. These are actually Dollar Tree acrylic nails. Not acrylic, but like plastic nails. And uh, they're pretty short. I file them down because... I have four-year-old twins, I'm a stay-at-home mom, um, and like I'm always washing my hands and just all, like my nails cannot stay long. So I buy, these are the Sassy and Chic, and uh, I must say they're not the best nails I ever had, like the fake ones, like I chips them and cracks them all the time, and sometimes they fouls off, so the glue is not that great either, but it's $1.25. And it lasts for a day or two. And if I keep um, at them, like, and gluing them back on and stuff, they'll last even longer. So, so I got those. Everything at the Dollar Tree in Canada is a dollar twenty-five, which is pretty much equal to the U.S. is a dollar Dollar Tree. Anyways, um, I'm sure nobody needs to see these, but you know what? Like, it's I I liked watching the videos. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this works good for this. I like watching the videos and finding out if products are decent or not. And obviously not everyone's going to agree on them. But if someone tried it and they said like it's half decent or whatever, then at least you can try it and see what you think of it. If someone says it's garbage, I'm probably not going to buy it. But um, I want to try these. There's 10 for $1.25. I don't know. We'll see. Um, also, I came across these. Um, Nagzima makes these. Like. What the fuck? I didn't know Nagzima made razors. But anyways, they're for your bikini area. And there's three little ones in there. And they're supposed to be safe and cause less chafing. I'll probably have the Yuhu cut right off me with that. Anyways. I bought toothpaste. Not really a great deal. It's just whatever. I need a toothpaste. And I also bought these. Um, they're like, I guess they're Epsom salts but they're uh, scented. And I obviously used this one right when I got home. I need it like I was exhausted from all that shopping. <laughs> so I need it. Uh, I want to take a bath and I, and I just, you know, I need these. So they're vanilla scented and there's about two cups of salts in here and which is like basically two uses. You could probably get three uses out of it, but it says to only soak in this for 20 minutes. I don't know why. But that's what it says, and that's what I did. And uh, I don't know if I feel any different or not, but I felt relaxed at the time, and I liked the scent. So I, I can't say that it really helped my aching joints or anything, because I'm always, I never really paid attention before or after. But this one reminds me of my grandmother's wild rose bush. She had down in front of her house, and when we were youngsters, uh, and the wind was blowing, you could always smell the, the roses, the little wild ones. They're, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Oh my Jesus, it brings me right back. So that's why I got the rose scent, because I don't always like rose scented stuff. Sometimes rose scented stuff is like, 
well, I don't know what to call it. stinky. Like sweaty balls or something. I don't know. If, if you know, you know. And if you don't know, you don't know. So there you go. Anyways, uh, my stepdaughter had her hair cut there a while back. And she wanted color put in it. So the lady put some of that color, like you just comb in, wash out. And they had it for sale there. It was like 10 bucks, And I was like, I'm not, no. Like, you know, I said, we'll do it another time, whatever. Um, but I found these at the Dollar Tree. Who knows if they're any good or not. I think it's just one application in each one. But um, I opened it up. And the pack's like that, and it's all full of liquid, and it comes with a little comb, and you dip the comb in the liquid, and you just brush it through if you want, like, that effect. Or you could uh, just, like, you know, maybe put it on a little piece in the front. But I think there's enough to do her hair a couple of times with it if I seal it into a Ziploc bag, right? Let's try that. Um, oh, my God. These are so nice. And I saw ladies down the States hauling these candles. Jesus, they smell so nice. It's uh, lemon meringue. And it's not a Dollar Tree brand. It's by Old Williamsburg Candle Company. I have no idea how they ended up at the dollar store because they're really nice and they smell, like, amazing. It's like a vanilla, light lemon meringue smell. It's so, like, you could eat it. It smells so good. But what really made me want it is that other people have it. <laughs> Plus, I love the little mason jar. Look how sweet it is. Like, it's so cute when the candle's gone. I could use this for... I always think about making my own candles sometimes. So, there you go. I got two of them. But if there's more there, I'm going to get more. I just had to stop fucking spending money, boys. Hummingbird feeder. Hopefully, we'll get some hummingbirds. All he does is boil some water and put sugar in it. And apparently, this, he likes it. I got these. These are the biodegradable planter cups. Maybe if I put them right side up, you might be able to see them. Um, yeah. I am germinating bean seeds, tomato seeds, pepper seeds, um, zucchini seeds. And I'm going to have way too many plants from my little garden. So I might share. And if I do share, um, I'll probably use these. Well, I'm definitely going to share with people. I just don't know which ones or how many I'm going to plant or whatever, right? But these were, I don't know how many's in there. Looks like just 12 or 8 or something. I don't know. Could be fucking two in there for all I know. But uh, I don't say. So. Ta-da! Oh, I gotta show you this. My son is uh, living with his dad this year. We share them back and forth. He he stays with whoever he wants. Me to share his dad next year, whatever. We just left it up to him. Um, we vote laws and we vote wants the best for him. So that's because a lot of people are like, "Why don't your kid live with you?" I'm like, "He <laughs> he don't want to. <laughs> he don't like me. No, that's not true. He loves me." And I love him. I'm very proud of him. Um, but, like, you know, he just, he can't be torn in half. So he stays wherever he feels comfortable. When, like, usually when he goes to visit one of us in the summer, he just stays there for the school year. And uh, I got a feeling he might stay. Now he's in Newfoundland with his dad. That's where we're from. Um, I, I don't know. He might stay there for high school now because he's graduating junior high school. So I got him this card. I doubt he's going to watch this video. I highly doubt it. But have fun. Freaking cute is that? Like, come on. And the tassel is not a picture. Like, the hat is, like, like um, stuck on, like, kind of, like, scrapbooking style with, like, the little dot, puffy dots. And then the tassel's real. And the sunglasses are shiny. Like, I was like, oh, my God, I'm so glad I have somebody graduating because I love this card. <laughs> and inside it just says, you did it. Congratulations, graduate. But, like, it's in the plastic. Like, to me... Like, you could pay, I don't know, $4 for this car at least. The cheapest cards I see now is like $4, $3 sometimes. But $1.25? And I got lots of other stuff that I recently got at the Dollar Tree. Um, I, <laughs> like, seriously exhausted my shopping budget there and at Goodwill. Um, but I'll show you now. Oops, there he goes. 
I have the shittiest camera skills, so I just want to tell you up front, my videos suck sometimes, like, with, in, in regards to lighting and, like, just don't mind me, but I still mind. Anyways, okay, I gotta show you something. Now, see that over there? I got that on the side of the road. Somebody on my street threw that away. That little bin holder, the wooden thing. And it came with... It <laughs> came with... They had these thrown out, too. There was three of them. A blue, a yellow, and a blue. Two, two this size and a big one that fit in um, one shelf. Look at me. Holy shit, I could never do the weather, could I? Anyways, I bought these bins at the dollar store for a buck twenty-five each, so it was about fifteen bucks to buy them all. And I got a nice little toy organizer, neck cute. Just want to show you that. And uh, what else have I got over there recently? Oh, I bought snacks there. One thing I bought there was a pill case because uh, I like takes vitamins and probiotics and antidepressants, <laughs> takes a few different things, so. I wanted to organize it for like days and times of the day that it takes it. And uh, I bought this little pill organizer and the little um, days slide in. So it's like Sunday, you know, to Saturday. And you take it out and there's four little like clicky click click. And uh, it's shitty. I, I almost wants to bring it back, but I don't know how long I've had it now, like over a week. But it's crap. Like some of the little compartments don't click. They don't close. And if you hold it up, this slips out and stuff. So that was a shitty decision. I bought a bag of caramel corn there, the Snacks to Go brands they has there. And it was outdated and it tastes like moldy. And I ate more of it than I should have. But it was one of those things that I just wanted it to taste good, but it just didn't. But anyways. And, um, oh, I bought shampoo, conditioner, and body wash there. It's called Daily Defense. I don't know if it's made for Dollar Tree. I don't know if I've seen it anywhere else. But for $1.25, they're, they're decent sized bottles. And they got like argan oil, uh, macadamia oil. Uh, what's that other one? You know, it's Moroccan. But I like the, the argan oil ones, brand, they're bronze bottles. And it smells good. And like my hair is not, I don't have the healthiest hair, but I just took a bath and I washed and conditioned my hair. And I mean, it's dyed to shits. Like I, I use box dye on it. My gosh, shocking. And my little shave undercut was growing out. <laughs> but I feels like my hair is really soft. And it's $1.25. So for $3.75, I got my, my hair products and my body wash. Oh, and I buy Zalufa scrubbies. I love them. And, um, and I buy so many nail files and that there too. Oh, and makeup. I guess that could be another video for another day because this has gone awfully goddamn long now. But, uh, I got some nice makeup there. Anyways, I should go. Like I said, oops, this is a practice video. If I do post it, um, thanks for watching. And I understand that people always say, if you like my videos, click like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to do that because it gets on my nerves when other people does it. But I understand why you do. Um, and I do click like and subscribe and stuff. So there you go. Anyways, uh, love you. Bye.